Okay, I've travelled up to the Northern Ireland part of the world now, here at Down Roll, the 182 kilometres from Nass for the three mile grade one JM Wine dot com champion chase. The number one is Drum and Bray, two is Fort Lauderdale, three is Iron Quackers, four Japan Nevair, five Strike the Gold, the Put is six, You Do Hoodoo is seven, Bread and Butter is eight, Malto Visione is nine, Princess Lady Jane is ten, Stage Fright eleven, twelve Time to Kill, and thirteen is Tina's Apple, and they're already away here. Right, we're going to let them settle down. Now straight into the first, which is a big plain one. Everybody's over it. The one at the rear strike, the gold was a little bit slow over it. Now we're going to approach the second ditch, and everybody's over that as well. It's quite a narrow course here at Down Roll, but it's the put that's going to lead us from Fort Lauderdale out. And bread and butter. And there are a couple of lengths ahead of the chasers, which is being led by Drummond Bray. One out really wide is Time to Kill, and inside of that is You Do Who Do. Then we've got Multivision as we come towards the fence. I'm Quackers. Uh, stage Fright. And then the one against the fence here is uh, You Do Who Do. And they're being followed through by Strike the Gold, Tina Zappel, and Japan Nouvelle. But up front is The Put. Leads by a couple to Bread and Butter and Fort Lauderdale out. And Drum and Bray. These four are kind of an Indian file. And on a wide outside is Time to Kill. But it's the put that leads us. A couple of lengths to bread and butter. Fort Lauderdale out. Drum and Bray trying to kill. Malta Vision. You do who do against the fence. Outside of that is Tina's Apple and Stage Fright. The wider is I'm Quackers. And Japan Nouvelle. Strike the gold still at the rear. And then I've, the only one I haven't mentioned is Princess Lady Jane is about mid-pack in the light blue silks with a yellow cap. And they'll get over the fourth. Nice fast jump by Bread and Butter. But the put still got the lead. It leads by three. And then we follow Bread and Butter's being followed through by Fort Ruled It Out. Molto Vision. Still out wide is time to kill. Drum and Bray still there. They're all over the fifth. Take it well. The one that's made a little bit of move, movement now into mid-pack is Strike the Gold. And it's demoted stage fright into the rear. So back up front is still the put as they approach the six. And he leads by a couple from Bread and Butter. Fall lured it out. Multivision. The wide time to kill for Joshua Sutherland. And then there's a couple of lengths back to uh, You Do Who Do against the fence. And the way outside is Princess Lady Jane. Jim Murray's drum and bray still there. But it's still being led by the put. As they're going to go past the, f the finishing flag after they take the seventh, which will be the last next time round. We have a fairly short run in here, but it's still the put, although his lead's been cut back a little bit now by Malto Vision, Fort Lauderdale, Bread and Butter. They're a length ahead of Princess Lady Jane, time to kill out wide. And a further length back to You Do Who Do, Drum and Bray, Strike the Gold, Japan Nouvier. And we've got Tina's Apple in the red with the cross band. And they're followed through by I'm Quackers and Stage Fright. It's all fairly close together here. They take this big ditch. They're all over it. Puts leads now down just a half a length to Fort Lauderdale on the inside. Outside is Malto Vision. Bread and Butter in the Pink Silks is still there. Drum and Bray's made better ground. And challenging for the minor places. Then we've got Strike the Gold that's had quite a good run. Princess Lady Jane and... Uh, Time to kill us, still out wide. Poor jump there by Stage Fright, to make himself right to the rear. So as they go around this bend here, the horses are getting pulled wide of Princess Lady Jane. Strike the gold, the pink silks of bread and butter. They take the 11th. It's still the put that leads us. Poor jump there by Fort Lauderdale. But it's the put that leads with Drum and Bay on his haunches. These two are neck and neck now from Malto Vision. The put still takes the 12th better than anybody. Gets himself back in the front by a couple of lengths to Drum and Bray in second. Malto Vision's third. Bread and butter four. They all take the 13th. Everybody's over it. Poor jump at the rear by time to kill. The one just bringing up and being the back back marker now is Japan Novier. But it's still the put. There's still a lot of horses still having to run wide here, but Strike the Gold starts to challenge for the lead with Malto Vision. The put's still there in third. Then we got Bread and Butter out wide with Princess Lady Jane. Fort Lauderdale closest to us against the fence. Outside of that is Drum and Bray. The one following them through is Tina's Apple, but up front it's Strike the Gold and Malto Vision and the put. These three are lead by a couple of lengths. Then followed through by Bread and Butter, Princess Lady Jane. The favourite stage, not 
time to kill's got a little bit to do we're losing one there i'm quackers is being pulled up but it's multo vision strike the gold and the put they're going to take the 15th together we only got inside the final six furlongs the one that's having a quite a nice ride is tina's apple against the fence here and certainly not under any pressure yet as they approach the next it's the put strike the gold multo visiony these lead tina's apple on the inside they're a couple of lengths the one moving really well now is time to kill for joshua southern on the far outside so it's the put movie tone strike the gold they all take the 15th together but it's the put that jumps better again put starts to lead on the wide outside here comes time to kill he's gone wide again and it's still time to kill the put these two are going to lead us into the last couple it's time to kill on the put they're neck and neck they're a length head ahead of multo vision tina's apple a good jump there by time to kill the one on the inside is tina's apple multo vision but it's time to kill that still leads and starting to pull away by a couple of lengths though we've still got a couple left to jump and still over two furlongs left to run but time to kill leads now by three to multo vision in second tina's apple third the put is going backwards in fourth but it's time to kill starting to pull away now jumps the 17th he's over it on a four jumps at the rear but it's still time to kill we've lost a couple as well a few got pulled up but it's time to kill that's going to win this we're inside the final half furlong time to kill Oh, jumped that one a little bit. Then's allowed Mortal Vision to just try and maybe catch up, but there's not much left in the running here. Time to kill takes this for Joshua Southern. Third is Molto Vision E for Moilet Surfer, and I think third was. Um, Tina's Apple for D. Thompson. And I'm right. Time to kill wins the uh, JM Wine. Dot com champion chase for Joshua Sutherland. Second is Molto Vision E for Moilet Surfer. Third is Tina's Apple for D. Thompson. Fourth is the put for Carl Arrogante, long time leader. And fifth is Princess Lady Jane for Ghost Zapper Stables.